Okay, everybody, it's time for Drew's news. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Drew's news. <laughs> <laughs> and with me at the desk is uh, my super news man. It's Rossi Ross Matthews. That's right, everybody. Hi. Hi. Hi, We're so excited because we have got an incredible person, human, and woman at the desk today. I've actually known her since we were kids, and it is an honor to have her here in person, live. Her new movie, <laughs> A Castle for Christmas, is right on time for the holidays. Take a look. I should probably tell you, that bedroom you liked, mm. where the fifth duke died, I made that up. Just wanted you to have the worst room. I know. The fifth duke died in the Battle of Culloden. The sixth was thrown from a horse, and the eleventh, your father, died alone in a hotel room in London. Hi. Oh, not again. Please welcome the one and only Brooke Shields. Yes, yes, yes. The one and only. This is so exciting. And this is, <laughs> this is not the first time you've been here. No. So no. last Still time to this day, I tell Brooke how I'm doing and like that, oh my God, I'm doing so good. I'm so happy to report. Everything's going she well. She doesn't need to report to me. I do. I'm not <laughs> like a, And we I, collaborate and we make fun plans and then um, we'll do segments where we eat donuts together. Oh yeah. That I'll was, call her up and be like, Brooke, will you come and eat donuts like on the show <laughs> with me? Like, yep. And then she'll call me and be like, will you do the movie I'm doing right now? And I'll be like, yes, what can I do? Like, we're, we, we, we have fun. fun. We, when we did the, the movie together here, we, we shot it right here we on shot the set. It here. And we had never acted together. I know, all Which these was years. like so weird. I it know, fun. right? You've known each other forever. That was the first time. It was really, it was nice to sort of, after all these years, kind of bring it all together. And for something like a, a wonderful project, which yeah. is, you know, I mean, A Castle for Christmas is like right up my alley. I am obsessed. Like, it's so the trailer, I, I'm in the movie. I've, I got to do scenes with you. I'm obsessed. The trailer, it looks so good. It's got everything that you need in a Christmas movie. Yeah. And there's dogs, there's pubs, there's horses, there's knitting. Uh, knitting? There's whiskey. <laughs> whiskey? Sign me up. So. Carrie Elwes uh, of The Princess Bride. Yes. I mean, literally. Oh, wow. We shot in Scotland. I lived oh, in the carriage that. house of an actual neighboring castle. I like how there's neighboring castles. <laughs> and it's a happy, feel-good movie. I think oh, we just God, need we to be need entertained. It. Yes. Gets us in the, in the Christmas so spirit. Great. Thank you, holidays. <laughs> this up. Last time you were here with Drew, you guys were eating donuts, and today yes. you're oh, here yes. with Cookie Week, at, uh, and you brought us your favorite cookie. I did. What I, is it? I Look love at this. peanut butter, and I love oh, chocolate, so the fact that they're all in one cookie oh. makes me very happy. <laughs> Walk me. For starters, can we talk it's about the girth pounds. of this cookie? Look how thick this is, you guys. Look at that. <sighs> That's, that's a it's big cookie. It's the size of my hand. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very wait. heavy. So it's chocolate with peanut butter chips in it? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Oh, mm -hmm. This works. And it's fun to smile after you've had it. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, teeth. here. Mm. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. That's a good oh. friend. <laughs> that's what friends do. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. Well, are you guys ready for some headlines? I'm very oh, no. ready for Oh my God, that is crazy. That's crazy. All right. Well, first up, we're gonna kick it and stay on this holiday theme because tis the season for Christmas music. And Yahoo Life reports it's not for everyone. That's right, a Consumer Reports survey found 23% of people dread holiday music. Say hey, what? I know. Psychologists say for some, it can be a real trigger, <laughs> reminding them of all the gifts they've got to buy and relatives they have to see soon, and oh gosh, the holidays, ah! Mm -hmm. So on the other hand, some people can't get enough of it, and they wish it would play year round. Ooh. Rossi Brooke? I don't know about year round Thoughts? holiday music. I don't know about year round. Well, listen, I am what they call Hojo to the max, all right? I am holly jolly and unapologetic about it, okay? So sign me up. 
But to your point, when they start playing it like on October 15th, I'm yeah. like, girl, no, that, come on. It's too much, it's, right? It's too much. It makes me melancholy. It doesn't make me like angry or, or I'm not, you know, upset, but it just makes me melancholy. I don't know why. It just sort of makes me like, oh, remembering when I was a kid and Aww. you know what I mean? Like that, I think it does evoke some of that, but I don't, I don't hate it. No, I do appreciate that I know every word to every holiday song. And so I sing so loud in the car. You guys know you sing so loud in the car, too. You know it. Um, I love the Vince Guaraldi Peanuts music. And I really like when people, like, there's a band called She and Him with Zoe Deschanel. Um, and it's like, I love when people make Christmas music. I feel like more musicians and bands like Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga, like, yeah. make Christmas music. Like, yeah. let's do this every yeah. year. Yeah. All right, you know. We have been enjoying the romance rumors swirling around. We've been talking about it here. Kim K and Pete Davidson, you know you're obsessed. So are we, or at least curious. Well, we just learned something new about Pete's relationship rules. Entertainment Tonight reports he just revealed his number one dating deal breaker. Listen to this. He says if you're rude to a waiter or a server, you're not getting a second date. How about that? <gasps> oh, I know. Now... <laughs> To me, this seems like like normal, kind human being. If you were on a first date with somebody and they were like snapping at the wait staff, yeah, I wouldn't make it through the meal. We're not getting dessert. I, I'm not even getting to the appetizer. Oh, really? Okay, but wait, would you like be able to like get up and leave and just be like, I'm sorry, like this? And is now a I could. Now in this day and age, yes. in my age, yes, because yes. life is too short and yeah. it sh it should not be spent in the company of people who aren't good human beings to other people. This makes me love him. The, he couldn't be more right. Anyone and it's real, it's real, it's a real thing. It's uh, them? Yeah. Well, you know, we think that this, they're, they're dating, we think. Having they're, fun. They're having fun. They had but pajamas on. They right? had matching pajamas on. Did you see that picture? Wait, with, what? It was Pete, <laughs> Kim, who else is there? Chris and I, 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 mm -hmm, Fla Flava Flav, I think, was in the picture. With them. Oh, I love Flavor Flav. Yeah. Are you no, it was, me? Wait, it was the we weirdest I love picture Flavor since, Flavor. remember that, like, Liza Minnelli wedding where, like, Michael Jackson oh, was dude, there? Oh, David, and, what's yeah, his name? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that was... Well, I was at the Elizabeth Taylor one, and that was oh. equally as, like, Wait, what? You went with Michael Jackson. Uh, yeah. To, to, you to, went with to, Michael Jackson to... To the wedding. To, <laughs> yes. To the wedding. <laughs> to the, and, and because... Michael had to walk her down the aisle. To the Elizabeth Taylor. To the Elizabeth Taylor. You went. I had yeah. to dance with Larry Fortinsky because technically I was the mother of the bride. <laughs> <laughs> technically. She, because... Brooke Shields is trying to break me. Oh my God. <laughs> that is an amazing story. I was like, you can't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. I was like, she doesn't even want me at her wedding. What? Yes, of course she did. Well, I mean, we weren't like friends and then... And then, then the first dance came, and Michael danced with Elizabeth, and I was like, oh, God, no. <laughs> I was like, let's do this. This is good dancing. Oh, my gosh. I feel little... like I want to do one. Can I do a, a story? A this one? Story? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Take wait. it away. Take it away. I want to go like this. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we're going to talk about the latest Chugi casualty. <gasps> Chugi. Ross, yes. Drew, I yes. know that you've talked about chuggy at the news desk. It's the word that kids are using these days to mean uncool, out of style, or just basic. Mm -hmm. So That's the New York exactly Post it. reports that Generation Z says that blonde hair is officially chuggy. They point to young fashion mavens like Gigi Hadid, Hailey Bieber, and Florence Pugh, and they say they've all gone from blonde to brunette recently. So what do you guys think about this? Do you think about being, I thought blondes had more fun. I wasn't sure. I love blonde hair. I don't think it's chuggy whatsoever. Blonde hair is stunning, striking, yes. beautiful. This report is chuggy. Chug, exactly. <laughs> well said.